we're back. Oh, our modem has been acting up a little bit lately. We moved our PS4 further away from the modem. And we're using wireless connections, so... I've been told that's what's causing it to be a little slower. <clears throat> okay. What do we have here? We've got a Godzilla and a King Ghidorah. A very classic battle. And then a Bio Beast. I want to reiterate again. I realize that uh, many of you have played me. And I've been by a latte and and I win a lot and a lot of people get frustrated when they get beat and they have a tendency to want to cry spammer spammer and well there's always times where you spam I mean it's just I I admit there's times where I spam, <clears throat> but I would ask you this question, okay? If you are being double teamed by people, where you have like a Godzilla in the front of you trying to hit you, and you have a King Ghidorah behind you trying to hit you, um, what are you going to do? Are you going to try to survive, or are you just going to try and do fancy moves? and let yourself be completely obliterated. I've mentioned before, every kaiju's different. <coughs> Biolatte is not an extension. Biolatte does not have a fire the way Godzilla and King Ghidorah and Burning Godzilla and 2014 and Space Godzilla and Kiryu and Super Mecha Godzilla have that can reach pretty far. I see I just did my vines that's as far as they'll go okay and if I roar I'll and I roar and fire here I'm probably gonna lose this battle because I'm just trying to demonstrate more than anything but that's all the fire further my fire goes okay now, now I'm having the R2 here because King Dora is trying to attack me right and I will do smacks here against Godzilla. That's not spamming. And then I'll do my vines. But as you'll see, as I try to do them, oh, looky there. King Ghidorah's hitting me. So I have to go into my emergency dodge, which is the R2 button that we all have, that Godzilla just used, okay? Now, I can sit here and smack, but I won't reach anybody. I'm too far away. <clears throat> so I had to charge Godzilla to get close enough to hit him and again look I'm not really close enough to smack him see so I get hit so I have to charge again to get close enough to him he just roared I have an R2 so I'll use it so at this point it would already look like oh look he's charged twice he's used his R2 twice he's spamming well <clears throat> when you're playing Biolante, just like right there, I'm nowhere near Godzilla to hit him, so I have to charge to get close enough to him, okay? And I want to get out of King Ghidorah's fire, so I'm running away, but it just so happens that I'm running toward Godzilla, so it looks like I'm charging again. I R2 because King Ghidorah was firing at me, and R2 protects me, so it looks like I'm spamming again. I'm just trying to demonstrate. I've got very few options in this situation other than to do what most of you would call spamming. Now see, I have an opportunity here to hit Godzilla with my vines, but now i got to get out of the way and protect myself from King Ghidorah's fire. So I r 2 again, and now I've got to run to get away from King Ghidorah's fire. So I'm charging again. Okay, Godzilla's roaring and hitting me, so I'm r 2 again. There's not a lot of options. With Godzilla roaring and running at me, the only thing that will protect me is if I R2. And the only thing that will protect me here is if I run away from King Ghidorah's fire and R2. So, 
as you can see, call me a spammer. I'm doing multiple moves in a row that might seem unfair because they're not... You might say, oh, well, it doesn't give Godzilla an opportunity to fight back. Well, what am I supposed to do? I'm being double teamed. I'm almost dead. The game, the, they've put me in a position where I have to try and survive their unsportsmanlike attacks, okay? Because I consider double teaming much worse than spamming, okay? At least in this case, I'm justified in saying, you know what, they were double teaming me. I had no way to survive. I've got two powerful kaiju that are attacking me from the front and behind. The only way that I can even defend myself is to do what some people would call spamming, okay? So, I mean, unless you've played Biollante, you really don't know what it's like <clears throat> to have to defend yourself against two opponents at once. And I did everything I could to survive. The only time and the only reason I spammed is because they put me in that position where I had no choice. I had no choice but to spam. So, yeah, I freely admit there's times that I have to spam. But if you go through and watch all of my videos, you will see Number one, I play by a sportsmanlike list of rules. The first one is, I do not cheap shot people. If they're in a battle with the other player, I will not sneak up and start taking out one of them. Okay? I think that's unsportsmanlike. It doesn't show any skill on my part being able to hit somebody while they're defenseless. The second thing I will do sometimes, after two people have battled, if the winner of that battle has like only half his life left or, or a very little bit of his life left, I will actually let that person come and attack me and I will not defend myself until they have taken my life down to the level that they're at. That makes the battle more fair because then we're both starting from a standpoint of having the same life. Now, a lot of you might say, oh, what's the big deal? I don't care. I just want to win. Well, exactly. There's ways to just win at any cost, but it doesn't take any skill to do that. Other players look at your play and they think, big deal. He might have 800 wins, but we can see how he wins now. He doesn't really have skill. He just cheap shots people and he takes advantage of them. The third thing I won't do is I won't go into a three-player battle with a friend of mine with the understanding, hey, we're just going to go take out this guy. That's unsportsmanlike as well because that third player has no idea that's coming at him. Okay? Now, I would say that if you're going to play this game and you expect to win, then you need to practice and you need to learn all all the moves of the kaiju that you're playing and you need to develop a skill to know how to beat different kaiju sometimes that's gonna require having to spam somebody we all have seen some people play Rodan or play Batra Imago where they get into a series of moves where it seems like oh my gosh they just keep repeating the same two or three moves and I can't do anything I have to R2 to get out of it well, you know what? Rodan's not a powerful character. So that person has learned that series of moves and skills that will allow them to take down their opponent. But they've done that by practicing and learning those skills. It's not the same thing as going on a battle as burning Godzilla and saying, oh, I'm just going to fire, fire, fire. Okay? We all know Burning Godzilla is pretty much the most powerful kaiju on the battlefield. And being able to sit there and roar and fire at people from a distance doesn't show a lot of skill. Now there's times where you have no choice. That's what you have to do. But if that's the only thing you do every time you go into battle, 
you are not demonstrating any skill. And I have to believe that even the five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten year olds that play this game, you would like people to look at you and think, wow, he's a really good player. So I'm encouraging you, if you want people to think you're a good player, learn how to play your Kaiju so that you don't have to go back to just the easy way of playing where it's like fire, fire, fire. In that battle you just watched, <clears throat> every opportunity I had to not charge or to not use my R2, I tried to do different things, like use my smack attack or use my vines. At the end there, I used my bite with King Ghidorah. And many of you might say, oh, but look, you were spamming with your bite move. Indeed. I probably bit him 10 times in a row. But here's the thing. It's the same case with Rodan. Biollante is not strong against King Ghidorah because King Ghidorah can hit me from so far away. I can try to charge King Ghidorah. I can try an R2. But I can never quite get close enough to get vines or my acid shower or smack attacks or my sweep in on King Ghidorah because they can just keep firing and firing from a distance to keep me away. So the only opportunity I have and that I've learned from lots of practice is that getting into a bite routine with King Ghidorah or Mecha King Ghidorah is the only way that I can effectively beat a good King Ghidorah okay so if I'm spamming to combat another Kaiju who themselves are pretty much spamming where King Ghidorah would just be constantly firing at me why are you accusing me of spamming and not the person I'm playing okay there's times where we all have to spam but I can if but I can at least demonstrate outside of using spam moves I can demonstrate that I'm a skilled player because I play a different way versus different kaiju and I play differently depending on the situation okay I'm just encouraging people not to cheap shot not to team up not to go in here with your little buddies and try and destroy people it takes away from the game people will stop playing and then you'll come on here to play versus and there won't be anyone around because they're sick and tired of being teamed up on so if you've learned to play the right way you'll get more respect because people will look at you as a good player and people will want to fight because they know that they're gonna at least have an opportunity to fight a skilled battle alright thank you